an unexpected snowfall collapses our hoof barn. We all work together to prop it back up. But the hoop barn has made us reassess this place over here. So maybe start there for a storage area, because if we're gonna take the hoop barn down, we're gonna have a lot of stuff we gotta store. store. A lot of stuff while we're working on that. It's already cemented in here. I mean, it's gonna be all ready for us to rock and roll here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a can-do job. We have a couple slabs of cement that are around the hoop barn from the old house that used to be here. We built a outbuilding on one of those slabs. We're gonna build another one on this existing slab here. We put the frame down for this building that's gonna go here. In order to make that equally parallel with the other outbuilding, we've got to expand those sides just a little bit. Basically just extend the frame out a little bit more so it matches the one on the other side. If they're both parallel, we can build something in the future between those two buildings. Nice square foundation. <laughs> we discovered that we have to go up to this line, so we're gonna dig out this piece here too so that we can get the form in here. The most beautiful corner you've ever seen in all your live long days? It is indeed. We really got a corner on this market. This is good enough for right now to get our foundation built so we can lay our brick and stuff on top of it. Yep, this will do. It's just a workshop, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Gorgeous, guys. You're doing a great job. We got our first chunk in here, which is the biggest chunk out of the way. Provided it doesn't rain tomorrow, we're gonna do that chunk. We just kinda ran out of time today. It was really nice to have it done. Don't tell Dad I used his levels. I know we had to do this without him, which... It actually is probably better. And I you know, know what? I've seen this nice job. Levels. I'm really pleased. I, I think Dad would be pleased. This is gonna be really a nice size building, guys. What do you mean machine shop? I'm not talking about that. It's gonna be what storage. What are you talking about? Very good, guys. Good job today. We took some bubble gum and stuck it to the side of the hoop barn and was able to patch it back up again until we can kind of get something going out here. Hopefully it will last. We've laid the foundation for the building on the outside and eventually we'll get the stuff out of the hoop barn and into that building, but we have to build the building first. Hopefully our hoop barn will last. Fingers crossed. Da -da. All this is just gonna work so good together. And it's the same size as that one now, isn't it? It's wider, but oh, yes. Wider. But as far as the length, yes. Okay, good. You guys did great. All right, easy peasy. Limit squeezy. All right, the concrete is done and it's laid in there. We'll give it a week to harden and next week we should be able to start on that outbuilding. We're gonna build an outbuilding similar to the other one out there, just mirrored. This building will be constructed out of block and the roof, well, probably recycled materials, we don't know yet. To put our door in over here on this side, wall up into a spot here. It looks like it might even be close to this spot here, but we're gonna have a door going in to this area. Okay. And then wall and back up to this other door. Two doors, one door there and one door here. Sounds like a plan, Dad. this should we get organized with it because we got different colors of brick we decided we're gonna be absolutely random with the colors and so it'll look a little like this and we're using what we call the boingy boingies yes because they a bounce scientific out term the boingy boingy they're higher quality block if you compared it with a cinder block I would say it's probably half the weight I can easily pick up a cinder block these are hard to lift boy are they heavy these things oh my gosh Just and there were mountains of them from the place uh, we got it was good it built all your muscles yeah except they don't stay you keep <laughs> gotta build them back up are we getting tired thank you no we could go all <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> we can go all day, what do you mean? We gotta get in shape again. We're like, got the winter lags. Hey, round is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you go? All My wall is there, uh -huh. and the little lumpy dumps on these guys go past the cement slab. You're not saying your wall goes out to here? So the wall was gonna run into the hoop barn. I wanted to get dad's advice on how we should do that because 
I wasn't sure if I should take the whole hoop barn apart or what. I don't understand. This brick here yeah. sets right here. Oh, okay, good. And then these yeah. stick out to here. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And they run into the wall. Oh, so it's the Lumpty Dumps. I would just take this, this hoop and this hoop and just bend them over. Will that work? Yeah. Crowbar might work. I like that. How's it going, Breeze? Good. I'm fine. Oh, Looks good. Oh. We decided to just force the hoop barn over using a crowbar. Either that or we're gonna shove the whole cement slab that way. Wow, it's actually moving it. You guys did it. Look at that. Moving the hoop barn with that crowbar really worked well. He was able to move this out of the way, so. We were able to do it, yay! We're putting a door right here too, right guys? Yep, door, door. So we always have an out and an in. Hmm. We're hanging out on one of those bricks. It's cute. Hi little guy, look at the underneath him. Oh, he's, he's got so yellow, pretty. and he's got this really cool blue turquoise look. That's so cool, little man. All right, should we let him go? Oh yeah. You go on, live long and prosper. He doesn't look like he's running too fast, but he is breathing. Come on, buddy. Our super secret measurement. It's called, does that look right? That looks right. All right, we got that mixed. A few times, I'm sure you have seen a glimpse of our junkyard. Reason why we have this piled up everywhere is because it allows anybody to come to the yard and be creative. Tons and tons of supplies to take and make something really creative out of it. We may go through it a little bit here and get rid of some things that are clearly not going to be used, but especially the metal the guys can use for welding different things. It might look a little ridiculous, but... But you know what? The most exciting thing is to go through something a little bit of a treasure hunt going, okay, this is what I need, and finding some organic material that's just come across that's going to fit your project. And you know, I don't know what kind of kids we're going to have around here. I imagine eventually we'll have some grandkids running around and whatnot. And these are just a fun little projects they can find. They go on treasure hunts. It's an adventure when you're creating something. And it allows those creative juices to just flow. It's our junk pile. It's going to be here to stay. Um, just look away. Okay, two rows up, Bree. Well, almost. We'll be getting some more help in a few days. Next Monday? Yep, yep. Getting some next more. Monday we'll get some help. It's gonna be fun. Bar? Your barn's still up? Jack? Ish. I just found out that there's actually a difference between a brick and a block. You are like us in your ignorance of bricks and blocks. <laughs> we are gonna show you the difference between bricks and blocks. This is uh, the FYI with Bree and Bryson. This yeah, lovely this is thing is a broken, but still. A brick. Notice its size. Notice its color, which I mean, they could be any color, but this is our no. color. Okay. This is a block. Block is significantly bigger than a brick. When they say, oh, brick by brick, we built it. They mean a long, arduous journey. If they said block by block, it'd be like a field day. Now I have a question. Yes. That is considered brick, but. My thinking is this. A okay. brick is solid and a block has holes in it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. Whoa, my mind is blown. I don't want to look it up. I just want to say that's right. <laughs> <laughs> because I really so, don't care. But that means. <laughs> if I did, that would blow that my means mind. The next time. Release the carpet! <laughs> Bart, your hairy white legs and my non-hairy white shoulders need some cooking today. You're gonna have to work like this so you can get them all even. Would that be bummer to sit down on one of these? Look around, what do you see? Sand? <laughs> A lot of sand in the like washes and stuff. And only desert sand works. Sky water, special imported from clouds. It's our rainwater. I decided the burying site has to be the brick building. Goodbye, rubber mallet. I think we have to go like 11 layers of this. It means 11 days, it's done. Let's but hope. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Building.
we're putting up our building. If we're gonna be putting windows into this building, we need to start thinking about it now. I think we might want some windows. So let's see what we got. Here's some of the bigger ones. There's like some like metal ones down here will be nice. So, yeah. Yeah. It's just a single pane, but it'll work. Thinking like we put it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Anything else? I thought I had another small one. Okay, let's go with those two. I love it. Let me get a tape measure. Let me get a tape measure. We actually found two windows which will work perfect for this building. So we gotta go five layers up. We need to start thinking about windows. We go five layers for black, for the black window. Which we're gonna put one window on the short side of the building and then one window on the long side of the building. Looking so good, Bree. He slams these out so quick. We gotta work to stay ahead of him. Oh, Bryson, this looks so good. I'm using yeah, that's awesome. Yeah? The level's beautiful. All right, All right ugly wall takedown. Little, little ugly wall. Ooh, genius. Yeah. Woo! Oh my gosh. Over there. All done? <laughs> and, oh. and bed! We got two for one! In price! <laughs> here, I love it! Here through the magical transportation Airways. known as American Airlines. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> so now we have the full squad here to really get this thing up and going. Oh my god. So hot. Is it the sun? It feels amazing. I think the sun's oh. just saying hi to us. Hi, sun. My friend Ben, he was working up there in the ski resort with us, and now he's come back to help some more, get some stuff done on the homestead, and so he'll be around for a little bit. It was a long adventure, and it was very fun and exciting, but uh, it's good to be home. It's fun to go, and it's fun to come back, isn't it? Yeah. That's what my mom always said. My puppy needed me! He has a whole new contentment about him. He was like, come barreling into the studio to try to get to Shay. And he's like, I'm not losing her again. It's not happening. You're all happy. Got your girl home. What do you do without your humans? I'm good to be back working away. They probably, you know, went counterproductive while I was gone. I leave for three months and look what they've done with the place. Completely destroyed it. They must have been having some parties or something up here, doing the tango. Went straight through the roof. It's probably a good party. But our hoop barn's coming down now. So we gotta build this other little building, all because they were not smart with their parties. For you at home, no parties on the hoop barn. We need you. You know it, we need every member of the family. We're all valued. Except for you, Steven. That's a joke, we don't, I don't know a Steven. I know a Steve, I don't know a Steven. Well, I'm coming from the city, and you know, I've had like coffee shop, desk job, stuff like that. And I just wanted to learn how to do something different. Like make houses, all this crazy stuff. Try, good. Try good. Just, just make a little time, time capsule. Will you make the time capsule, Ben? I will put make in there? a time capsule for you, and I will put it in this building. You could we'll make it out of a water bottle. Make it out of a water bottle. We'll put your favorite teddy bear in there, and a little message. I don't have a favorite teddy bear. Well, we're gonna buy you a favorite teddy bear. Good luck. <laughs> You'll be hard pressed to find anything fluffy that I like. What are you thinking, Shay? Ah, 
<laughs> that you have You're a dog fluffy. and he's fluffy and you like him. <laughs> she had a good point about the dog that's fluffy, but he isn't fluffy, he's furry. Well, fluffy is somebody right. that's had too many beans for breakfast. Fluffy was a uh, comedian. Yeah. That, oh. I was just thinking, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. So it's not an insult, it's a compliment. She goes out to the junkyard because she's going to look for some little red brick. Apparently brick is also in the junkyard. Does it work? The How answer is... is, yeah, that will work. So we could possibly use that for a window seal. Yes, <laughs> we'll seal the deal. 12 of them or so. We don't have junkyard dogs, we have junkyard bricks. You're getting a whole stack of them there. That's great. We pulled out some brake drums. We decide we want to go with those. I think that's going to be a cute nook in this building. Ooh! That's kind of fun. I think that's fun. I think that's a really cool shape. You've already got these holes that you could bolt them through. A piece of glass right in the middle. We have a few tires that we're probably going to use for that window seal on that back window. We're going to use the tire base for the window seal as well. It'll be concrete like this. These will stick out just a little bit. Kind of fun looking. We wanted to add some things that looked more machine, tool shop, tires to make it a little fun. level it too on that, which I didn't do on mine. Well, I'm just a natural. I think you are. <laughs> hey job. guys, how about a break? <laughs> we'll come back yeah, you guys bit. kick back. Come back in a few hours and just check in on me. I'll have the whole thing done. <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. It. it was a lot more work than I'm used to. I mean, I literally just came from a job that was just standing at a desk for eight hours. So there was a lot more work, but it was really fun. I got to learn how to lay, not bricks, blocks. <laughs> I was leveling out the brick and I accidentally knocked the level and it's, it's in there now. It's a rookie mistake that even the most senior of us makes. <laughs> it happens to everyone. So I stuck some wire through this pipe and I made a little mechanism and then it go like that and then it grabs it like a claw. And this on the end is just a piece of belling wire through a pipe. Should I fix for it? Yeah. Let's see if this thing works. Oh yeah! No way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! So smart, Bryson. Nice. We should check this too. That's yeah. that's actually that's actually good. That's really, really good. Yeah. We got a total of six layers on this side and five layers on the other side. So it is going up quickly. We haven't been blocked. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make it into a little tire window seal. I wanna make sure that none of the tires come out into the building, all the tires will be sticking outward. And then Bree found a couple bolts will set in there so that Gary can get a board that the window will sit on and then this will lock the board down. We had a couple bags of concrete laying around so thought we would get some use of that and concrete these in. So that is the plan. Bryson's gonna cut our plexiglass that goes between the two brake drums. Okay. I have more of those. Okay. That'll work then. I'm pretty sure we've got the rest of what we need then. Okay, we're good. Should we go put them on? You got the glass in. All right, here you go, Bri. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, that's, that's right. nice, huh? Okay. It's kind of just what I can find. Serious thing, putting this thing together, you know. Absolutely. Just bolt it on, you know? Yeah. Do you want it in? Is it kind of flush with the wall a yeah. little bit? Yeah, do you want it flush? Cause that's yeah, let's keep it right there. Did you want the bolts on the inside though? You got the nut? No, it looks better. Oh, yeah. yeah. How does it look, man? It looks really nice. I think this is fun. 
Update. All right, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Update me. What's going on? Oh, uh, yeah. Putting our stuff in. Very articulate. We're doing some red brick here. Well, it's kind of red. It's kind of gray because it's dirty. We're going to make a windowsill for our window that we're going to be putting in here. And look at Dad. Hard at work. He doesn't have any gloves. It's kind of cringy. Cringy. There's no. so much cringe right now. I can't even. <laughs> you make him a cringe, puppy. But it's okay. Bree's got gloves. I've got gloves. You got the professional at work. Water. Give the donkey water. This is setting up really nice. I think it's gonna be good and sturdy for that board. The tires will clean them up a little bit so you get that cute little tire look. Bryson cut out a very nice piece of glass. We set that in there, just got a few more things to bolt through. This last window still is a little wonky, but I think it'll look really fun. So now we move on to putting more blocks in. I was asking Bryson about gears that we could stick in the wall and he pulled out all of these. I mean, that's pretty perfect, right? Yeah. So this came out of an old transmission. These gears did. I was also thinking we could wrap this around a couple of the gears, something like this. I love that. It's, this is really fascinating. <laughs> Give her a spin. We can, we can make our own gearbox. How does that transmission shift in your car? So these two gears are attached to another drive shaft to the end of your wheel, and this one's attached to your engine. So it's constantly spinning like this, right? And then let's say you want to shift into a low gear. When it's spinning like this, you can go bam, and it shifts that one in gear, and then you can go bam, and it shifts that one in gear. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm -hmm. I didn't know how those worked. Guys and gears. <laughs> <laughs> And because we want both the guys going, they're gonna be moving twice as fast. But they're giving me a wonderful head start because they're lost in this thought process of whatever it is that they're doing. Yes. By the Hopefully, way, look at my head way. start. <laughs> but, ooh. We're out there plugging along, getting that building up, and Ben and Bryson start really getting excited about finding different mechanical pieces and parts to start incorporating into the walls. Super cool to see them get excited about all of these things. Now it's in neutral because they both are loose, right? These two. I saw a hole and I filled it. I think there's some way to attach this one right here. You can do that. That looks, that looks really cool. Yeah, let's do that. Really like the idea of the brake drums in the wall. I think from the outside it looks really, really fun. What other things could we put in the wall? We found this bit of an engine. Yeah, this is what I call a block. This is a block. <laughs> let's just okay, build the whole building out of blocks. Engines. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> like large glass bottles on this side. Coming through this way. We could have light shining through them. And then if we find some way to seal off the ends on this bottom side, you could put tools in there, like little drawers. I'm thinking somewhere in here because this is where the engine shop will be. And it would be cool to be in the engine shop to look over and you've got engine parts on the side of the wall. And this side, it's got sun basically all day long. So that light would be shining through the bottles really so, nice. Should we do it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, is everyone okay? Yeah. Oh. It's a heavy little bugger. Um, Do you need dad or am I going to be able to help you? I can help too. I just think it to be so heavy. Licking. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's probably pretty level, huh? We take these piston rods, we put them in the walls, four of them, I think should come out of the wall like what Bree was saying. Oh, like that. oh I love so that. So we get four of them, kind of this face open, okay. like that, and then the cement, cement in here so that it grips onto it so it won't fall out of the wall. That is cool. We we're gonna oh, sell all the pieces, but why? Why oh. sell it when you <laughs> sell it? <laughs> 
There's two different size valves. There's one slightly smaller than the other one. Bryson had us all over the junkyard looking for the slightly bigger one because he's like, no, 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 it's not gonna look right. When you start getting artistic into these things, it might be a small size difference, but even those little minor things, they're a big deal because you've got that vision in your head. This is actual concrete. So what ended up happening is after we got these all in here, the weight of them hanging down was pulling it forward and it was coming off. So we have a rod going through all four of them, holding them together, and then we cemented them up and here we have this janky situation holding the weight so that these won't sag. Tomorrow now, when it's all hardened in, it shouldn't fall or move at all. It should be really good in there. In here to put stuff. Wrenches. At the end of the day, just pull your gloves out, shove them in there, head out. The possibilities are in. And then with the, it's really neat really need to see both Ben and Bryson really passionate about making this shop a work of art. Steve, hopefully it'll, yeah, it's in there super sturdy. All right, mom, what do we got? Let's see which one will fit. This one's too big, but this one wow. is gonna fit right in there. Here, I can take it. Yeah. Perfect. Do you see it on this side, Shay? Here, let me go look. Right. Do you want him to sit out or what? What? Yeah, out distance. like an inch, Just like inch that? and a half. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Very cool. Okay, I'll find four of these. Here, Bri, use a ladder. Cool. You have to find a way to seal it so that rain doesn't get in there. Okay. Maybe like some liquid nails. Through here, which there probably won't be any light through here when we put on the big one when we decide to bridge these two buildings, but it's still cool to have bottles there. They're all in. I think they're sealed. The most satisfying thing about this work is you come out here, you lay one after another, and at the end you can be like, look, I did that. Here's a physical representation of my work. Whereas what I was just coming from, it was redundant paperwork. Same thing every day. Once you're done, you do the exact same thing tomorrow. This is a lot more satisfying. Oh. Yeah, sure, so I'll put my head like this. <laughs> I tilt my head like this, it looks great. <laughs> Awesome. It's gonna look beautiful. From back here, you can really see how much. What was it? Probably like four layers when Shay and I showed up. I doubled it and added creativity. They're not a good guy. It's got a black head. Where so. is it? Right down here. Do right you want here. me to take it? Oh, yeah. Hey, Dad, do you know what type of snake this is? It's got black diamonds down the back and a black head. I think that was a king snake. We are running out of the boingy boingy block. So we have been scouring the property trying to find some. Bryson. Called? My Little Homestead Hard at Work! Woo! This is the only time we work hard, when the oh. camera's on. Switch off the camera. I'm tired. Behind the scenes at My Little Homestead. <laughs> we did find some, and the top that off. The cart that we use to wheel the stuff back and forth is breaking, one of the wheels is. But it's at a great distance from our project, so the guys are having to haul it. I better help, Ben's hauling. Oh, it's a nice little three rounder bang 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 that we have to work through to get this block in here to build this building.
we've got this guy right here we've been trying to figure out where to put and it looks like if we just knock a little bit of this out it'll fit really nicely in there the question is can we do this without breaking the block before you start yes hammer down because if you hammer out it'll push the block out okay break we're getting there shay can i borrow your chair Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. It's in just a little bit more, so I feel like it's more secure, but it's still sticking out and it looks fun. She's going places. Oh, spend, right? You don't know where. <laughs> Board just to sit right here. Okay. Oh, good. Down Don't to the go ground. down? Okay, I'll get it. And I love that this bearing is visible. Yeah. I think what we're going to do on this is do a combination of the red brick here, then go with this other block here. Let's see if we got enough room for it. I think we could do that. Oh yeah, I think that'll look real good. I'm going to go around these areas. I just like to use the concrete instead of the mortar mixture. All right. Ben's only going to be here till I think he leaves on the 11th. We need Ben here when we start getting, especially up to the 8th and 9th and 10th layer. That's when the, the strength of a man is really important. We're going to have to kind of kick into gear here and try to do a couple extra batches every day. I'll carry on the conversation with a 6 year old or a 60 year old. You just give them to me, we'll talk. <laughs> it's interesting, the extrovert and introvert. It's the solution is to find the balance between the two. <laughs> Extroverted around the good people and then run away around the bad ones. <laughs> yes! Perfect! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Ready for this? Whoa! Take one! Oh! Is that a good O or a bad O? The bubble just keeps staying in the center. I don't want it in the center. I want it on the left. The one building that was, you know, leaning, everyone's like, huh, let's make that a tourist attraction. Thank you, Tower Pisa. So why are we all trying to be traditional and keep everything level, unique. The solution. Art. I'm really proud of Ben. He's come out here and he jumps in, helps, has a great attitude. I asked him if he could fix our hand cart. I'm gonna fix the hand cart because that's not normal. He's official now, country man. And then we'll put this guy on here, which is definitely a peg for this thing and not just a bent up nail. And voila! Woohoo! Molto bene! <laughs> delightful to have him around because he's got a good attitude, really wants to learn these things. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, that's awesome. You can really see the light come in from down here. If only it was a running engine. <laughs> That would be hilarious. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do there. Maybe we can fill these in. I don't even think you know that mom is sarcastic. <laughs> because she always edits it out. <laughs> she's so funny. And she's like, oh, oh, it's me on the camera. Oh, oh no. Let's put the kids on there. That's what I said. I said, take more risks. Start editing yourself into the vlog. <gasps> mom! Yes. What? You should make one episode designated to what mom does a week. You film it like a nature documentary. Mother in a natural habitat. <laughs> Her day starts early in the morning, around six. The sun is reaching its crest. The children have yet to arrive. The cubs are all still asleep. This is majestic. Mom, if, this is the part I'm editing today. If you got a single bit of this. We, we will go, riot. Oh, we'll, we'll go on strike. <laughs> We ain't got no radios. <laughs> we got band. La 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 I done to pass the twice just because she is so nice, Angelina. Angelina, Angelina, Angelina. 
Cue the dramatic music. Here, yeah, blowing in the wind. Oh wait, it's on the wrong one. <laughs> that was the last brick for today. Us girls, we're on our own. So we put the elbow grease in and we clean the place up. Because if you don't clean periodically throughout a project, you're stuck with all the cleaning at the end. And trust me, it is not fun. Look at how gorgeous it is. Don't you feel inspired to work? So we just gotta finish this little row from here over. Won't take too long. All of this stuff is all set up and oh man, it's just really nice. Ah, uh, it's a special combination to open the door. Doors open. And then to shut it, you know, you just take and put kind of the same combination in here. Then it opens it back up again and you go, huh? I like it. So we have one lone block right here. He's a lonely fellow, he needs some buddies. So we're gonna give him some buddies today. You ready? Yeah, I just picked a hole, no one was here. Perfect. You just picked a hole? Yep. yep. Yeah, here is a bunch of concrete. We are stuffing these little things, uh, this, these pails of it into the wall, and we are then hurricane inserting bolts, right? those. They called hurricane bolts. I think they're J. Uh, Dad called them J bolts. J -bolts. They're, they're really J bolts. They're really intelligent, but you, you stick them in there, and then bam, a roof just like pops up. Please don't fall, Shay. I won't fall more than twice. Okay, That's the rule. A little bit more. This is the last bolt. The last bolt for the last spot. Exactly. Without it, the whole building would fall down. Bryson, that bolt looks a little crooky. Not crooked. Your okay. eyes are crooked. Yeah, probably. It looks crooked to me too. Oh, I need that a That looks too, really guys. crooked. Building block. <laughs> 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 This week we're gonna start on the roof to the outbuilding. It's a flat roof that we're gonna be putting up here. It's kind of a shed flat roof type of structure. It has the top plate, which sits on top of the blocks that we have up there. And then it has on top of those top plates, which we have bolted in, we'll be putting in rafters. And then from the rafters, we're gonna be putting on fascia. And then after the fascia goes on, the sheeting goes on. Dad got home with all of the rafters that we need to start putting this roof on. First step is just to go ahead and lay the plating down so that we have something to set the rafters down. So there's about 24 feet of plating on both tops of the, the high and the low. That tool grips it for you. I know you don't have to do much to it. It's kind of nice. We're having to improvise a little bit here. Right? So we changed our plans on the roof. So I'm using the two by sixes where I was gonna use that for something else. and putting those down for plate. A little bit short on that, so I'm gonna put it together with a couple two by fours. Little block, drill a hole for it. Done. Oh, yeah, Ricky's helping you out, Dad. Hey, thanks, buddy. Some of the bolts are a little too long, so we're just adding a three-quarter inch board as a spacer in there, so that that's like a wooden washer. Uh, it gives enough gap so we can tighten the bolt down. Plates are on. Yay! We're all set up now to board start measuring out. Yeah, start measuring out our rafters and. We're 
always looking to salvage and reuse all of the materials we can. Well, these boards are boards that came off of when we demoed the kitchen. We haven't really been able to find a use for them, but they're nice little sheets of plywood. This is going to be the sheeting that we're gonna use for the outbuilding. We figured now would be a great opportunity for us to use that. It'll pick up around that area. We're gonna get a head start on these and start the denailing process. How's everything going, guys? So Good. We're nailing it over here. Denailing it over here. The problem with this job is it gets really boarding. You get stiff as boards. After we get that all bolted down and all set up, we'll lay it out, uh, two foot centers. And uh, Bryce and I'll uh, set all the rafters. There's 12 foot pieces that'll be going all the way across. We normally have the air gun to nail it in, or a nail gun, but in this case, we're gonna have to use legit guns because the air cord won't reach. That's some more wood. And did you get what we've all been waiting for? The pot of gold? The hose. Hose. Oh. We thought we were hosed, but actually we weren't. Yeah. The air compressor is over there. So the yellow hose was where it stopped before. Now, he's got the new hose hooked up and he's ready to go. All right, bright guy. Now we can use the gun. So much better. Love this hose too. It's like rubber tire niceness. Oh. So and we got a regulator on it. Yeah. All right, that's on one end. Here are three panels I'll be able to put up. But I can at least do a section with a three quarter. I'm just really thrilled that Gary is even considering using this because the last thing Gary wants to do is pull nails out of something to be used. But he's game, so I'm happy. Shay and Bree and I, we got all the nails pulled on all of these things. I love recycling and reusing. Less waste, the better. Are you in agreement? Yes. I'm in full agreement. I don't know what was said, but I'm in agreement. We finished denailing the sheeting, so now we are going to turn our sights to the junkyard. Where doth you go? So what's the plan, Bree? Do we have one? That's a really great question. I actually don't know. I'm thinking we could start putting this stuff over there. We want to start picking it up and organizing it a little bit. We're taking that off in little bites and chunks, starting with little paths. So we're thinking we probably should clear this path out first because it's gonna open up access to the rest of the yard. So we'll make a pathway from where you are and then a pathway between the buildings. I like it, let's do it. I think this is the mama. Oh. Isn't she pretty? Oh, she's definitely mama. From our research, these guys aren't poisonous. They Good do one. bite, but they aren't poisonous. Well, I'm not gonna get close enough to see if it bites. She wanted a pet. Who she did? Shay. No. I wanna reach out and grab him, but I don't think I will. I'm not that daring. We'll just let her be. Beautiful king snake, though. Isn't she? She'll keep the rattlers out of here. Yeah. After we're done with that, we'll put our, our barge rafters on the very end with a one foot overhang. And... All right guys, how's it coming back here? See this marvelous looking patch? It's totally awesome. Yeah, I think so too. This area that Shay is cleaning up has been just a beast. This is part of the old house. It's been here for years on years. And you found a, looks like a flue from an old chimney. So if you catch the flu, you'll know who to blame. Are you finding something tasty there, Kip? That's what happens when you grow up with goats. Are both the puggies eating the grass? Talk about memories. Look at these the little swords the kids made when they were younger. They put little the jewels in them. Paint and jewels. I love it. What was this? 
Free? I, I, I honestly, shoot. like a shooter? Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Would lob arrows so far, and you'd pull it back, and we just go <laughs> launch them. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Garen's invention right there. <gasps> oh my. Hope there's no animals out there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hang well. On, hang uh, on, hang on. It needs something a little longer like that. Apparently, the uh, Sentry Bowie post thingy is back in action. Watch out, any robbers, you will be met with extreme arrowness. <laughs> no <laughs> trespassing, bow in face. <laughs> Ready? Looking on here. Is this gonna hurt us, Bryson? No. Ready? Oh, oh man. It's I, bad. Oh, no, longer? Dad's got a new one. Ooh. Woo! Is this longer? Yeah. Oh, no. They have to succeed now. Yeah. It has to be a success. I just oh, hope there's no goats out yeah, there. Baby. No, they're not that. They're That's not. it. It hey, oh! Whoa. Yeah! yeah. Success! <laughs> <laughs> what? And then from there, we're going to put oh, the yeah. face on, get the face all on, and then we're going to block in the bird blocking, and all that has to go in also. We are time to sheet the top of the building. So we got all the rafters up, the blocking in, and we got a few of the sheets up. It creates a little bit of shade. Maybe it's maybe a degree cooler. Maybe, I don't know. We're a step closer and that's what matters. Cool beans. We are going to begin puzzle piecing this roof together, getting the sheeting on. We've got all of it all lined up for us, easy access, and now we're gonna pop those little suckers up there and have ourselves a sheeted roof. It's like making a wooden bed with a sheet. Look, it reaches all the way over here. Yes. You got to be kidding me. I don't wanna yeah. hear anything she says right now. I'm ignoring everything. Because he cut a board too short you know and he thinks it's my fault. She didn't tell me, so obviously it's, you know, she's standing over there looking at it. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, are you sure you want to do that? You say something about this. Why I tried to, but did you, you let me do this? <laughs> Good leader always blames all the helpers. I'm going off the ladder and I'm never coming back. Oh, I'm done. I'm done with this project. <laughs> Leftover recycled plywood. We're using that for our top of our roof. A lot of these pieces are busted. Some of them have nails in them, which we actually denailed. Plywood, there's chipboard. Some of them are even different thicknesses. And anyway, we have all this planning we're doing and puzzles and pieces we're putting together. We're trying to make sure to minimize the holes in the roof as much as possible. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and hopefully it's done. It could be the longest roof we've ever done. We found the biggest board known to humankind. A full sheet of particle board. They are gonna really love us now. It's gonna be raining sheets outside. Let's do it, let's go bring it to them. I'm excited. Okay, you guys ready for a full sheet? Oh, sure. Whoa, it's the best thing that's ever happened to us. Yeah? They're better than chocolate? But, no, not better than chocolate, but it's good. <laughs> A niblet is a scientific term for however much I think it should be. It's about that much. You guys are doing great. We've been very careful not to step on. He stepped on and went through. I didn't fall all the way through, just a leg. So now we have a skylight. I will admit. Yeah, hello. We've got some pretty sturdy plywood up here. Relatively confident I cut that right, but apparently I didn't. This board has to be the same size, so. What am I doing wrong? Wow, look, all you had to do was maneuver it in that perfect way and it fit. No cuts required. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? 
Last piece. Ta da! Okay, now it's time to do some trimming. Are you time lapsing it? Oh, ho, ho. I'm so happy. <laughs> These are one foot strips that we're gonna use as our shingles. We just went out and bought the metal and chucked it up there. We decided to go here every two. Would that be too much? And then it hits that guy there. Seems like a lot. We could do every three. Would that work? Like that? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Sending Morse code messages. They say, please help, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Is the breeze nice up there? My hair is flying back in the wind, you can clearly see. You gotta put your elbow grease into it. Oh, geez. You gotta line it up perfect and just gun it or else it doesn't work. Success. It's actually quite comfortable up here. I think I'll make this my new sun tanning bed. Been this is hard. scary. I'm shaking. Oh uh, yeah, only step on where the staples are. Safety first. Ben was awesome. He hopped up on that roof and it was the first time he really ever did a roof and he did a really nice job. He put up a lot of those sheets. Now that the roof's up, it's time to work on the other things like the windows and doors. We have a few windows that we stored in the junkyard for a little while. Had a accident where the windows fell over and broke, but the windows that we had that was saved off for this building didn't break. Thank goodness. So we're gonna go ahead and put those up. And of course the door as well. We've had a door stored off in the brown house for a long time. Wow. It's fancy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why we're not installing this on the house. It was once in the house. Oh, it was? Yeah. It's gorgeous. There's gonna be no door here. Eventually we'll connect these two buildings so there's really not a need for a door here. So where's the door going, over here? Right here, yeah. Oh, spot. What is we, the plan? We have this little window to stick in this big hole. <laughs> We're gonna do it though. Lots of wood around it. Yeah. We have a window that is 23 this way and 32 and one quarter that way. My wood is always perfectly cut. So I don't know what dad was complaining about cutting in square or whatever, but my board, whenever I cut stuff, it's square and 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 straight. Shave just a touch off of that. Totally. Do you mind? Saying my cut job is not good enough. Definitely. Wow. It's not square, but we can square it. Now the other side in. Cry about it. Eat some lunch. Then come back and work. Cry about it. You know, that kind of stuff. Should we see how dead on we are? Ah! Who said this was level? Who cut it? Oh. Oh, it's the cutters. Oh, look. You trust that one? Yeah. Okay. I definitely would trust that one. Because it's on? Is that what you trust it? Yeah. Okay. It is very scary, especially when you're on the receiving end of it. Oh, cool, huh, Gary? Yeah. Guys, dude, this is awesome idea. I just need to raise them up a smidge. They look really good. Look through that square in that corner. You gotta move that way. That's good. I see that trim off that little section there. Hey, look. It's a video frame. One frame at a time. I've been free. We're good. All right. Bullet gets a little upside at the gun. Oh. And Luna is holding it. We took that wall down. This is the window that was in the kitchen. Half of this building is to use half of it for the hoop barn storage, and the other half I plan to put in a machine shop slash tool shed area.
So what you doing up there, Shaster? I am balancing the world. <laughs> We did the outside to make sure that we had enough in case we had to do this with a different color. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have enough. Yeah. It's looking stupendous over here. Ship shape, I say. Look at you, Bri. Oh. Good timing. Perfect. Please don't paint it. Oh, I'm sorry, I already did. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's gonna be a little wet, but it's all right. Just don't touch that side. Don't lick it, preferably not. It's kind of gross. You putting it in a door today? I hope so. It's truly adorable. <laughs> he shimmies and he shakes. There's a wood putt. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We gotta find those um, anchor tie things. Hurricane clips. Put some shelvings and stuff in there. Not many people know that these shelves are actually made for dog efficiency storage. When you start collecting a lot of dogs, you what gotta you, start getting shelves for them. What would you say uh, the shelf life is for, for these pugs? <laughs> First test of the door. Oh, it's beautiful! You know, I really think that brings this oh. project to a close. Metal shelving system was donated to us and it is going to be amazing. We'll be able to store all kinds of stuff in there. It is going to be so much fun to work in it. For just a square building, I figured it would just be a blocky, gray building with plain windows and doors on it. I did not expect to have all kinds of different engine blocks in the walls, and it really turned out nice. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Ma, I didn't rip your hoop on. There's no video proof. Delete that quick. Bricks and blocks. Now you can be a true Mason and pursue all of your masonry dreams because you know this very simple but very powerful fact about bricks and blocks. You're welcome. A bit of that, a bit of that, a bob of this. Which one would be stronger? The holy one, because it's divine. Ben, come back! Ben! <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, don't even start on that. <laughs> huh? Yeah. My little homestead exposed. We didn't that? actually catch the exact moment on film, so mom made him reenact it. And I told her what we needed to do was drop it back down there. No way. You know how hard that was to fish out? So we it would even be sure real. It. But he truly did get it out. It he did? Oh yeah, he got it out. Okay, it's a historical reenactment. Oh yeah. I drank all of those. Oh. Especially Coca-Cola. I mean, that might not be do so good Do you still for have a stomach after that? No. I had to get it replaced with a steel one. How much did that cost? Five bucks. Wow, you got you got that steel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is your man tired of being surrounded by kitchen appliances and sewing machines? We'll call it 1-800-BENJI now, and I'll fix up your house and make it look like a real man cave. Call <laughs> for a quote today. <laughs> This is what happens when you come from the city to the countryside. Armor Jan! <laughs> Are you now officially a redneck? I'm a redneck. This is a long bolt. We're gonna make a 12 foot uh, roof and a uh, wolf and a roof. <laughs> ring, 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 <laughs> ring, ring, ring. It's right. Bryson's right. girlfriend! Oh, he has a girlfriend? Who is it? Dang, am I saying something? No, I was just <laughs> king B-roll. 
I approve of that that time. Bree approves of this part. Do people edge away from you during conversation? Do you cry yourself to sleep? You might have terrible puns. We have a solution for you. Submit your comments. Warning, do not submit your puns if they have caused any of the following side effects. Queasiness, eye rolling, courtesy laughs, or disownment in the past. Consult your doctor if your puns get worse, you're experiencing dizziness, drowsiness, or have lost friends. We are not responsible for any groaning caused by reading the comments, or if the general experience is underwhelming. Bree's pun stamp of approval is not a standardized measurement of comedy, and audience results may vary. Battery's not included. What? I don't want my name on that. This is a, an efface to puns everywhere. I'm a pun advocate. I advocate for pun rights and the right to speak them in normal conversations without groans. I, no, I, I don't approve this message. I approve this message. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. <laughs>